We've got our big Everything Trucks event, which is a very popular attraction during the Come See Me Festival happening on Saturday, April the 20th from 9 to noon. We've got the team leaders here in the studio, Jack Leitner and Sarah Stoggins. And good morning to you both. Good morning. Good Good morning. morning. Welcome. Okay, so Jack, I don't don't really know who enjoys this more, the kids or the parents, to be honest with you, (laughs) because when I brought my little one out there, Collins, I've enjoyed it just as much as she has. Um, But let's walk our listeners and viewers through kind of what they can expect there at First Baptist Church on Saturday. Yeah, so it starts at 9 o'clock, 9 to noon, like you said, and we've we've got a a good turnout coming this year, so from... Uh, you know, Rock Hill Fire Department, and uh, we have the uh, AME is bringing the, a new 80-ton crane, and they have not been out in a few years, so we're excited to have them back. And um, uh, we have the helicopter, the medevac coming back in, and then concrete trucks and uh, police department and just about everything you can think of. And this is a day where kids and parents, as Lucas likes to say, mm-hmm. can actually, like, climb on the trucks, get in the trucks, honk the ho- all the things, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Some loud horns. <laughs> <laughs> I live near there, and I can hear it all the time. And I always say, that's everything trucks happening, for sure. Sarah, what's that conversation like when you're communicating with these um, organizations to have them bring their vehicles? Do you have to do a lot of explaining or... Not at all. Okay, Not yeah. All. They they look forward to it. I think that it's really impactful for the kids and the families to really see the size because they're just looking out across the field seeing these equipment and everything operating. But when you get beside it, it's it's pretty amazing just to see them light up. And I think the drivers really enjoy the experience of it. That's actually a pretty good perspective because you pass them on the road and your yeah. depth perception is a little off because mm-hmm. you're also in a vehicle. but whatever you can walk up to them and touch them and you can say it's a big truck or a big vehicle Mm -hmm. it does kind of take your breath away a little bit yeah and you say the parents but the drivers and the equipment (laughs) operators i think they enjoy it the most yeah and i think it's cool too because you know they were a kid one day who might have seen Mm -hmm. a fireman in a fire truck and said hey that's what i want to do so you know these are their future employees you know that can really start start uh you know, a learning of, yeah, this is maybe something I want to do. I want to be able to drive that truck one day. So I work that crane. That's right. So how big is the crane that they're bringing? It's an 80 ton Ooh. crane coming. Oh, yep. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And no matter all these fantastic vehicles you have, and you know what I get so much enjoyment of from is smooth move will bring just one of their box mm-hmm. trucks and the kids will run all day long inside that box they truck. sure will it's an empty box truck and that's always the longest mm-hmm. line out there at everything trucks. up and down the ramp that's all they want to do which that's is right. a lot of fun for sure well on moving day they're not allowed to do that they're yeah. like get out get right. we got that's stuff right. to do oh man what do folks need to keep in mind uh one uh, before they come out there anything's in particular to bring or not to bring and this is really open to everyone right i know it's geared towards kids but if you've got kids that are a little up in age like everyone's welcome at this event yeah yeah, absolutely everybody's welcome um everybody's excited about it we're excited about it um it's free come on out enjoy it um glenn and glenda will be there um we also have some surprises that aren't just trucks so Come on out and mm-hmm. see some surprises there. So. We like that. I like a tease. This is at First Baptist Church right off of Dave Law Boulevard. They've got that huge parking lot there, so a great use of space there. It is free. Um, guys, I'm trying to think what else to rem- help people. Bring your sunscreen, especially if it's uh, – Sunny. I was going to say sunscreen and maybe a water bottle. Yeah, that's right. Around all that concrete. And no pets. Hot. No yep. pets. Yep. Unless yeah. it's a service animal. So there you yeah. go. We always like to give a shout out to our two major or two sponsors of the event: York County Natural Gas, like you said, and, mm-hmm. uh, and then my cousin Trip Trip Light and Orthodontics. So. That's right. Well, we we appreciate all those that sponsor uh, the Come See Me <laughs> Festival. These sponsors really help to uh, undercut the cost. So all these events, for the most part, are free or at a very reduced cost. And we, we appreciate them. And we appreciate the team leaders like Jack and Sarah for organizing this and getting involved and, you know, just planning a fun time for families. That's right. fantastic. And the volunteers. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes. We couldn't do it without the volunteers. They're wearing those fashionable purple shirts when you see them <laughs> That's right. out Thanks and about. Thanks, them. <laughs> so if you want to volunteer next year and collect the whole set of Come See Me volunteer shirts, then you can go ahead and sign up, and you can, you can start collecting your whole 
rainbow full of all kinds of shirts. There are all kind of different colors and sizes, and it's a lot of fun for sure. Jack Leitner, Sarah Stoggins, again, just the team, some of the team leaders of the Come See Me Festival, and they are responsible for everything trucks. Saturday, April the 20th, 9 to noon, free event out there at First Baptist Church in Rock Hill, located right off of Dave Law Boulevard.